Host the King Amorera Eros. It's a hazardous for hosting this wonderful party. <clears throat> well, now that we've all eaten, I have a surprise. At this banquet, we will be serving some of Queen Vashi's famous blueberry pie. Yeah. 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 That. that sounds good. Then it's unanimous. Waiter! Tell Queen Vashti we have one order for a blueberry pie. Alright then. Wait, no. I just had a genius thought. What if we replace the blueberries? With peaches! Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, wonderful! That sounds good! So, peach pie then? No. I want blueberry pie with peaches instead of blueberries. Oh, and tell her that I want the crust on top of the filling instead of surrounding it. So, like a peach cobbler? N no. It's a blueberry pie with crust on top and peaches instead of blueberries. Don't question me. Now go tell Vashti. Incompetent staff. Vashti too, really. Where's your crown? Vashti broke it. Wait a minute. This isn't some blueberry pie with peaches instead of blueberries and crust on top instead of under and around. This is just a plain old peach cobbler. <coughs> Fetch Queen Vashti immediately. This transgression will be her last. See, I am surrounded by incompetence. Her Majesty the Queen uh, has a message for you. No. <gasps> uh, oh. No? I've never been told that an abominable word before. Oh no. What if all wives in the kingdom start to, to tell their husbands that? It'll be chaos and rebellion! Perhaps, then, we should make an example of her. Yes, that's what we'll do. Tell Queen Vashti she's fired. I'll find another wife. How will we find another queen? Who will fill that position? Do women send out job resumes for that? I know just the thing. We'll throw a ball. And whoever leaves at midnight and loses a glass shoe We'll be your bride. Or you could gather all the young virgins in the kingdom and pick out the best one. How's that? 
Yes, that's it. She'll need to be beautiful, a great cook, and... Well? A brunette. I'm tired of blondes. <laughs> Send out a proclamation. Oh, and throw out Vashti. She's demoted from queen to exile. Mm-hmm. You're an attractive young lady of the correct age group, which is to say any, and you appear to be brunette. Are you bottle brunette? I don't think so. Great. Are you a virgin? Why do you ask? Official business. Now, are you or are you not? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, not again. Wait, young lady! from King Ahasuerus. Ah it's pronounced Ahasuerus. Isn't it King Xerxes? No. no! Wait, you're just the messenger? Put the message on the ground and slide it to me. <sighs> well, would you look at that? He's not just a kidnapper. He's also an expert forger. This looks exactly like the King's seal. Oh, give me that. He's in uniform. So he's looking for a new queen? What happened to Queen Vashti? Was she assassinated? Did she catch a horrible disease? Did she plot to kill the king? Um, she begged Peach Cobbler. <clears throat> well, anyhow, you fit the description for his new desired bride, so you'll be coming with me. Do I have to? Yes, and if you refuse, I'll have to call out the Brute Squad to bring you in. Right, because it'll take an entire Brute Squad to haul me out. Wait, can I see your credentials? We'll need more assurance than- See that letter? I have the king's seal. That should be enough. No, I want to see the badge. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll tell you about it at dinner. Actually, you'll be gone for the next 12 months. Um, I'll be fine anyway. See you in a year. Um, don't forget to brush your hair and your teeth. And wear fresh clothes. You need me to bring fresh clothes? I'll bring your stuffed animals too. Are visitors allowed? Um. Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Hello, big man. Hello, tarantula. It's big tarantula. That's what I said. Moving on. Greetings, Haman. Greetings, my lord. I see your crown has finally been fixed. It took them quite a long time. Indeed. You should have seen when Vashti was done with it. I... The twelve months are finally over. Twelve mediocre months without blueberry pie, or even peach cobbler. But all the women are finally ready. How should I pick one for my bride? 
Well, you could plan a contest. Yes! I will make them battle to the death! Well, I do love bloodshed. But some of these women might have lawyers for fathers, so we had better not. So I notice you have paid special attention to Esther. You've given her a room and seven maidservants. She's the only one you seem to favor. Yes, I find her pr particularly brunette, I mean beautiful. Very nice. I'll have to do a background check on her to make sure she is from a good family and see whether- That is it! I shall make Esther my queen! But, but, but I haven't even done a background check yet. We'll need a, a, a private investigator- Esther, come here! She's not here, your majesty. What? But I want her to be here! Yes, yes, we'll, we'll call her in. Serve it! Go get her! Ah, Esther, I have decided you are going to marry me. Oh. Esther, you have been given the opportunity of a lifetime. You should thank your king. So I get to be the next Queen Vashti? Yay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, may I inform my cousin Mordecai? He's my guardian. A bodyguard? That hardly seems necessary anymore. You shall have my palace guards to protect you. She means like a parent. But she said he's her cousin. No, no she, she means... Uh, never mind, just say yes. He can visit tomorrow. Thanks, but he's already here. He visits me every day. Can I go speak to him? Ah, that man. You've met? Yes. During my daily stroke through the town, he refused to bow to me, even though you promoted me to your prime minister. Can you believe- Never mind that. Esther made lemonade today, and it's quite good. Wow, you'll be the queen now? Bet there'll be a lot of assassins after you. Oh, I don't think we need to worry. But, I don't know how I feel about being queen. God doesn't make anything happen without a reason. He probably put you here to do some good. Ugh, but that awful Haman. He thinks he's all of that. You still have a told more Jews, right? No, of course not. Great, let's keep it that way. Oh. Of course. Wanna come inside? I made some lemonade. The king really does like its food. I do miss your lemonade. That sounds refreshing. I haven't been able to find a good cook since you left. Good, everyone's gone. Boy, I hate that king. He doesn't even get bargaining on names right. That's the least of my troubles. He's cut my pay again and again, and I can't barely support myself. You too? Do you take away him your health insurance benefits? Yes, and my forced insurance, all to finance that war with the Greeks. That's it! We need to do something about this! You're not suggesting treason, are you? No! Simply consider us as agents of Darwin's National Selection. Wow, there's a mindset like that. I could bend mine around with you, Tony. Yes, so would you help me naturally select? Well, hypothetically speaking, I guess you could have to naturally select the key. Yes, and hypothetically speaking, we can do it in a very insulting way. What if we snuck a lot of, um, tarantulas in his toy? No offense, but that's a really dumb plan. But it's poetic justice. He called me tarantula. What? So this is now all about you? How about we poison him? I guess that's a more realistic goal. But I'll find some kind of way to add tarantulas somehow. Homage! Homage! Pay me my due homage! 
You, Mordecai, why won't you bow to me? Uh, what, like, worship you? <laughs> well, if you insist. Ha! Worship you? You don't like the one true God to me. Then respect me as your natural superior and bow to me. <laughs> the audacity! He's never bowed to me! Do you know him? I've seen him around here a lot. He seems nice. Do you know he's a Jew? Bless you. A Jew? Bless you. Hmm. There's a trustworthy face if I've ever seen one. Ah! Hey, my lemonade! Esther, something important has happened. I just overheard a plot to kill the king. What? Who would do that? Big Dan and Teresh, the doorman. They had to be stopped. Tell the king on my behalf. He'll never believe me. Huh, looks like those doormen are finally being executed. Well, the world is rich of more evildoers. Ah, yes. Speaking of evildoers, I wish to inform you of a large population of such despicable evildoers living among us all this time. Really? A large population of them? Yes. They call themselves the Jews. Ah, I've heard of them. Well, did you hear of their unholy practices? Why no, what do you mean? Where do I begin? They believe in a strange one true God that they believe is even superior to you. They listen to this figment of their imagination over you any day. And uh, they believe you are sending subliminal messages through your proclamations and wear chainmail hats under the belief that it will protect their minds from your evil messages. Why, that's crazy! How did they figure it out? And they attend church on Saturdays. Have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? Why, yes. I believe Esther mentioned that was most logical. That's not all. They ride their horses most aggressively. They cut me off all the time and pass in no passing lanes. Disgusting! What's more, they do not obey your laws, and they have all the worst habits. They walk very slowly when people cannot walk around them. They write letters in all caps. They never hold open doors. They tap their feet and crack their knuckles in quiet lecture halls. And worst of all, they steal toilet paper from public restrooms. <gasps> they must be the worst of all men! Then perhaps, my lord, you will allow me to have your signet ring that I may make a law allowing days in which it is legal to smite the Jews, rewarding those who plunder them, murdering their families, women and children both, stealing their every possession, and leaving a trail of Jewish blood in their wake! <laughs> You've never sounded more trustworthy. But this is the most precious thing, of great value and... <laughs> Here you go. Thank you, my lord. I need you to help me with the decree. Oh! 